In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at relative mode. So as I mentioned in a previous video, the easiest way to enter notes is by using relative mode. So basically, in this mode, the octave is chosen automatically by assuming the following note is always to be placed closest to the previous note. Relative mode might be confusing at first, but it really is the easiest way to enter pretty much any music. We can raise the octave of a particular pitch by adding a single quote, or apostrophe, to the note name. We can lower the octave by adding a comma to the note name. If you want to change a note by two or more octaves, just use multiple apostrophes or multiple commas. But be careful, make sure you use two single quotes, not one double quote. Let's try an example together. In this example, let's say we want to change the first G to be an octave higher. This is how we do that. And you'll notice that Lily Pond adjusts all the notes after that G accordingly. Let's say we want to make the A in the second measure an octave lower. This is how we do that. And the A is now lowered. And so is the F that follows it. So that's pretty much relative mode in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.